Hello, everyone. Uh, today, we are going to be drawing our version of a hermit crab. You maybe recognize this picture, and this author, Eric Carl, has a bunch of, of books with animals, and this is one of them, and we are going to do our version of it. And here's a, a kid's version of it, and what we're going to do is we're going to draw the hermit crab, and then we're going to talk about what we can do for the background. We're going to have the ground, what would be the sky, but really it's all underwater. And then we'll have fish or starfish or plants, whatever we'd like. So let's get started on our hermit crab. All right, here we go on our hermit crab. So like with the other at-home art projects, we can do do this with whatever you have at home. Um, hopefully you have something with some color. If not, you can use a pencil or a pen and then try to do shading as much as possible. Um, but I'm going to show you with a Sharpie so you can really see it. And then, um, then we'll talk about the background. So I'm gonna put my hermit crab about here, I think. So to do that, I'm gonna start with the head. The head is just a circle. And then we're gonna draw a little line like that. Then we're gonna draw the shell. We're gonna start about here. And we're gonna go around and we're gonna come up and touch the bottom of that other line. And we're gonna come like that. This is a big loop. Then we're gonna add part of the body out here. And kind of see what it's starting to look like. Now I'm gonna put the front legs on. And this doesn't really make complete biological sense, like it's not exactly how their bodies is, but it gives a great image of what they're like. We're drawing it. These are the front claws. And see, we almost did like a little V here. Now we're just gonna round it out on the outside. Like that. Now we're gonna draw the other arm. Remember they have these little segments. Draw the little V. And there we go. Now we're gonna add a few more legs. We'll claw at the end. We have most of the body. Now we're going to go back to the head here. Add on an eye. And remember, if I go too fast, just pause it and then catch up. And it's nice because now you don't have the whole class doing it. You can pause it as much as you want. Draw the other eyeball. Boop. Now they have these little antenna that come out. And there we go. There we have our hermit crab. So now we gotta think about, well, where is this hermit crab living in, well, we'll say it's an aquarium or under the sea, um, but we're gonna give it a horizon line. Think about where that would come through. Remember it's behind, behind him, so you wanna go, don't color over your hermit crab because it goes behind him. And then what to, whatever you want to put in your scene, you can do, maybe there's a little fish that lives in there. Oops, oh no. Now 
a weird looking fish. We got a starfish maybe down here. plants back here whatever you'd like Any color you know this would probably be blue or green whatever the water is whatever you want to color the crab is fine traditionally on for this cover it is red see how it's kind of speckly colored um, so you get to be as creative as you'd like for your hermit crab and his living scene where he lives all right uh good luck and go make a hermit crab